escorts, call girls, night walkers, etc. What was the weirdest, craziest, funniest experience in your time in that profession? Like and subscribe, or else these'll be in your bed tonight. So, throw away because I just started escorting and don't want it linked to my normal life. A guy I last saw a month ago would quote movies while fucking. He was also huge. Both his dick and his weight. We would be fucking and he'd say things like I am the danger. Chaos isn't a pit. It's a ladder. I'd have to press my head into the pillow not to die laughing. Once for the entire hour he just had me repeat you're a big guy to which he'd reply for you. Which he told me is from the Dark Knight Rises. I kind of miss him. Regular. Paid well and fucking hilarious. While working at a rub and tug place in Nick. I had a guy in his 50s come in who only wanted me to pinch his nipples and rub my feet on his dick until ejaculation. I'm an athlete and do not have fetish quality feet. I told this to him and he said the dirtier, the better. He then had me tell him about fucking other guys while he made disparaging remarks about himself, like, you're so pretty you'd never do that with an old guy like me. In the middle of me recounting some of my sex ploits, a be a certain type of lady is open to this work. Comma he looks me seriously in my face and goes, you know. You don't have to lie in your stories for me. I laughed so hard. I still don't think that he believed that I was being honest. But he came anyway. He was a super nice guy. Have a bit of a different side of a story that had to be weird from the prostitute's John's perspective. About 20 years ago I had a police scanner. Playing around with it I discovered a certain range of frequencies that picked up cell phones. Most conversations I would hear were very generic and boring. Sometimes a drug deal being made and an occasional argument would be entertaining. Mostly boring stuff. Once I heard a conversation between a prostitute and her female pimp. The prostitute complained that she was disgusted by the old guy she just did. He reminded her of her grandpa. Anyway. The pimp gives her the hotel and room number of the next client. I called the hotel and asked for the guy's room. I said something like, Hey. When the hooker gets there ask her how grandpa is doing. Double quote. I kept scanning for a follow up call but never heard anything. I'm a former webcam model. One of the weirdest experiences was one guy who told me he was a bully right off the bat and wanted to do a RP. I apparently shoved him into a whale tank because he pinched my butt and I didn't like it. Then the whale ate him and a bunch of school kids who were watching were happy because again. He was a bully. There was more to it and I started to run out of things to say. But he kept tipping me throughout the conversation. Father of a friend works as a doctor for a government disease control place in Germany. He is mainly dealing with prostitutes and tells some funny stories. Many of the women coming to see him. Don't give their real name and don't have to. Fear categorized just after the name they give and their birthday. One woman once came into the office and just said my birthday changed. Turns out she was never using her own birthday. She always used the birthday of her current boyfriend. Another time he asked me to go to a site on the internet where most of the women in his care advertise. Pointed a finger at a blonde she's got chlamydia. Ha 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 ha. Also told me about a woman. Who told him that a man wanted her to save all the filled condoms of a whole week of work and buy them of her for 500 a. That's where she drew the line and even though it was easy extra money. She couldn't do it. Male escort for about 3 years. The worst would be having an out call and having to fuck a guy in front of his girlfriend. He loved it. She just glared at me the whole time. I felt really bad about it. I'll always remember the way she sat. Staring at me while I had my way with her husband in their bedroom. So sorry. But he paid for it. I just feel bad about it. That was about 10 years ago. In Sydney. Sorry Mrs. Client. I probably had about one. 200 jobs during that time. That was the worst for unspoken personal conflict. Transgender escort here. One day a crossdresser messaged my Facebook account. 
I tried to respond politely at first but he's asking too many very personal information that I reluctantly answered with false information mostly. So I told him to cut the chat and asked him what he really want from me. He said he wanted a Mackie over from me. Saying that he also wants to feel what it's like being a streetwalker. Though I no longer hang out on the street ever since the era of smartphone. I told him to meet me at the street because I only give my address to a trusted client. So we meet up at night around 9pm in a coffee shop at the side of the road. This guy have a real long hair. But seems to be lacking of treatment. He has a scar on his cheek and I think he's quite an annoying person. He asked the same freaking question from my inbox all over again with additional detail. And he also said not only wanted to be a transvestite. But wanted to try a lesbian fantasy with me. To then I directly asked. How much he's gonna pay. He said he mentioned the amount which is below my standard. I probably would still accept it if he's not been such a bugger. But I had enough of him. And wanted to give a payback for all the wasted time. I said that I can provide all of that but I need a day preparation and get paid up front and then meet me at the same place the next day. To then he naively agreed. We exchanged phone numbers. After that I go home and switched my sim card and blocked his Facebook from my friend list. And swear to myself to never talk to a person like that again. No throwaway cause who cares. I was a webcam model for some time and have seen and talked to strange people. I once saw the guy suck his own cock. That was interesting. Had a request for my female counterpart to fuck me with the toe end of a high heel. Many many fisting requests. Lots of men who wanted us to degrade their tiny penis. A guy once gave us very thorough instructions on how to make me squirt. Twas very fun. It did work. We also had a very nice female regular who was into hardcore BDSM. She was our favorite because that was is also our specialty. Had this scrawny 18 year old offer to pay me 5 whole dollars to stick his entire hand up my pussy. Without a glove or even washing. In the dancing booth. I tried not to laugh and kept declining until it was clear he wasn't interested in a lap dance at all. So I left and went to the bouncer. The kid followed me to the bouncer protesting. Insisting that I wasn't understanding his offer correctly. I told the bouncer the kid was trying to buy extras and the bouncer told him to beat it. Then the kid argues with the bouncer and says no no no. You don't understand. I'm offering her $5. He got thrown out still convinced there was a misunderstanding. He used to work nights in reception at an escort agency that had about 50% of the escort adverts, Asian line, Indian, BBW, you name it, in my city. My job was to pick up the phone and offer quotes match the right girl for the right fantasy. Not all like doing certain things. So one night I get this guy that was looking for a girl that could wear PVC clothing. While using a strap on on him. That wasn't an all out request. It had happened before. But he also wanted her to sprinkle talcum powder all over him while doing that and bark while they were watching dog porn. One of the girls came back to the office one night and told us that her client had gone to the restroom at the start of her booking and came back out with a toilet brush up his butt. He then proceeded to wanting to have sex with her doggy style. That was an interesting job. Well okay I have the best story. I'm a male escort BTW. So this guy wanted to meet me but he did not want to actually meet me he wanted to watch me and a female friend enjoy dinner from far away. The only unusual stipulation was that he wanted my female friend's underwear to be exposed. After dinner all he said he wanted was the pair of woman's underwear. That's it. So naturally I involved my sister because I knew she'd be down with making extra money and she was somewhat aware that I had sugar daddies but did not know that I was sexually active with these people. He claimed he was going to give us five. Zero dollars for doing this and he had no idea she was my sister. Then he decided he wanted my sister's phone number so he could decide if he could trust her with the task. Jumped to a few hours later where we were outside taking photographs in the rain of my sister wearing a bra with leopard print pants and her underwear exposed. He wanted to see how wild and crazy she could get. This is when I realized things were getting out of hand. 
Never did meet with him. Was probably playing us. Oh and that time I met with a client in public and rode back in his car with him to his hosting location which turned out to be a closed dental office that he is responsible for cleaning overnight. All I'm gonna say about that night is I did receive head in a dental chair. Not a call girl per se. I haven't had sex with clients but I have done video requests for money. I'm exclusive with my boyfriend. Love him a ton and we are both comfortable doing it. A guy requested my boyfriend dress in a suit. I suck my boyfriend to nearly completion. Then my boyfriend had to jack off into his own hand and display his cum to the camera. The guy gave us a list of talking points about his shoes. To be discussed throughout the session. A guy requested I chug a can of soda then burp loudly. I expected it to be nearly impossible to chug a can of soda. I'm super sensitive to carbonated beverages and find them difficult to drink. But for some reason it was pretty easy to do. A guy requested I, sort of, lift hold my boyfriend in different positions. A guy requested I tie my boyfriend to a chair and suck him off.